This is the new look of most of the state-owned secondary schools in Uwari, the Imo State capital. Schools being renovated within the metropolis include Akwa Kuma Girls Secondary School, Imano College, Uwari, Ikenebu Girls Government College, Uwari, amongst others. Brand new buildings, well-furnished and equipped classrooms with a conducive environment for teaching and learning. In a scheduled visit to some of the schools under reconstruction, Governor Rocha Sokrocha says the move to remodel the schools is to deliver quality and qualitative education in addition to the free tuition to students across the state. We are trying to really rebuild the entire place, uh, make it something modern, and that if we must uh, uh, think about producing leaders of tomorrow, we must make the environment uh, uh, conducive for learning. Governor Koracha also disclosed that due to the changes and growth recorded in the state's education sector, the performance of students has improved by over 100%. Imo education or something is going, going higher. And it's part of the fact that our population has also increased from 375,000 uh, of for both primary and secondary school now to oh, over 850,000 children. I see counting. Because as you have the schools and made them better, there's rush from other states coming to Imo State. That's what we're experiencing now. Some of the students commend the state government for steps taken in giving their schools a facelift. They believe it will boost their drive to study even more. I'm very happy to, for the changes that we have seen in the school because uh, most times we learn in, in an environment that is some kind of hot because of the empty ceilings, there's no ceilings. But I, I believe that with these new buildings that are being built in our school, I believe that we will help the, the, the students to learn very well in the, in the in a tidy environment. Everything is going to go freely to my brain. And then when I come out for any quiz or exams, I will cover the flying colors. Imo Indigenous expect that this development will spread to all schools in the state, especially the ones in the rural areas, in dire need of urgent attention.